What is going on YouTube? One only X Rim here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to today's Tech Tuesday. We have the 2021 Ducati V4S Street Fighter Dark Stealth, and we are replacing this ginormous freaking whale tail with the NRC Fender Laminator kit that we have here. And I'm just gonna kind of walk you through the basic steps to take this out. It's not overly difficult. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and then hit that little bell for getting notifications whenever I do upload new content because I do try to stay consistent. We are definitely trying to stay to a schedule, but things happen. It's life. So let's get into taking this bad boy off and I'll show you how that's done. You have a T20 Torx and then a number four Allen key. Pretty straightforward. Again, there's two Allen key sets here and then the Torx are here, 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 here. Now, as you see here, there's only one connector. And if you notice, the NRC thing has one here and then two turn signals. So obviously three total connectors. The rest of that's in this piece. When you pop this bad boy off, you see that they're still connected right there. So what we gotta do, take this bad boy off, pop that off, and then we can fish that through. And then we'll just kind of undo these zip ties here and take those connectors off. Right, so now that we have this connector off, we can just kind of plug it back in just for time being. Remember that SX, this right here is actually the left hand turn signal and DX is the right hand turn signal. So keep that in mind and just keep that memorized. And this obviously this white one is for your license plate light. So in the previous kits that I got for the NRC, we had to drill a hole to this part of the actual bracket. Well, now they've supplied a little plastic piece as a spacer so you can feed your license plate light through that bracket and you no longer have to drill a hole in this, which is a good little touch. All right, so now that everything's plugged in, I like to check to make sure everything's plugged in correctly. So we turned on, we already have the license plate light. That's what this guy is. And then we'll turn the left turn signal on, right turn signal on, everything flashes at a good speed. So. We're good to go. Now we just got to kind of stuff all this back up in there. That is probably the worst part about this whole setup is hiding these wires back to where they came is definitely something that should have been addressed. Uh, it's good to keep factory wiring, honestly, but they should just made these three connectors coming together to be one connector just like this is. So that way you can remove this little jumper here and make this whole connection a lot shorter. Just my personal opinion, maybe NRC, look at it next time when you have a single connector coming out, just put these all together into one connector and be able to plug it in. All right, so this is the whole thing installed. Let's see how it looks. Light still works. Blinkers still work. Nice. Let me turn the hazards on. Beautiful. So I did remove this piece right here, the cowling, because I wanted to be able to get behind here a little bit. One of the hardest things about this whole setup is putting all of that cabling back in this section because you gotta think that the cable's like this long and you're trying to shove it back into a space that really doesn't have that much room in there. What we really should have done again is make those three connectors into one a little short pigtail, something like three or four inches, and then plug it in so that way you're not trying to shove a mile of cabling back into a three foot hole. So anyways, it's a pretty straightforward setup. I apologize for the sweat, but we're in my garage. This little tiny fan doesn't work very well, but I'll tell you what, this isn't that hard of a setup. And as long as you have some Allen keys and a Torx tip, you're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Tech Tuesday. The bike looks so much better. And again, it's fun to wrench on stuff. So with that, I hope you all have a good one. I'm out. <laughs>